Meghan Markle reportedly agreed to re-record a bombshell interview after the Queen's death. The content of Meghan's original chat with Variety magazine has not been released and it's unclear whether she made any further digs at the royal family. The monarch died aged 96 on September the 8th, with Meghan having a completed and glitzy photo shoot and video chat eight days before her passing. With the full interview undertaken some weeks before, reportedly around the time she spoke to the cut, she and Prince Harry had been on a mini tour of Europe when the tragic news broke. They then remained in the UK until the Queen's funeral on September the 19th, staying at their old home, Frogmore Cottage, on the grounds of Windsor Castle. But on returning to the US, Meghan agreed to sit down with variety writer Matt Donnelly in what he described as a lengthy discussion about her road to the present. He wrote, She worries that any comments about the Queen or her in-laws will be a distraction from continued mourning but presses on to celebrate the icon. The rewritten feature headlined Meghan Markle Lets Her Guard Down was then published yesterday. The article said she praised the Queen as the matriarch of the family and became animated talking about the warmth and support she received from the thousands of citizens she interacted with during her time in the UK. Markle was asked about her relationship with Queen Elizabeth II, in which she answered, I've reflected on that first official engagement that I had with her, how special that felt. I feel fortunate and I continue to be proud to have had nice warmth with the matriarch of the family. The first engagement was to Holton to open the new Mersey Gateway Bridge on June the 14th, 2018. Meghan failed to acknowledge the fact that she looked terrible next to the Queen because she refused to wear a hat. According to Aguada Sanchez on Cora, she also forgot to mention that the Queen's last three years were full of headaches because of Harry and her. Some short memory there but what can we expect from someone whose narrative and history change constantly? Meghan is persistent with the PR and the articles will keep coming. Her problem is that no matter how relatable and genuine she tries to be, her hypocrisy and lies always come to light. It's me, me, me. Another topic in her article in her love story, they've been selling themselves to the public since before the wedding day. Always the same story. The handsome prince and the actress who fell in love and lived happily against all odds. She keeps mentioning this love story, but if you have to push this narrative so hard, then it only means you're covering for some deep troubles in the marriage. The Variety piece doesn't go into any detail about what Meghan said about the royals before Her Majesty died, if anything. However, the decision to sit down again has led to speculation about what the unreleased first interview contains. Considering it was done around the time she controversially told the cut that Harry had lost his dad amid Megxit. Royal fans urged Meghan to stop using Queen Elizabeth and the royal family for publicity. One online user commented, She's got to be the most navel-gazing human being on the planet. Literally, all she does is talk about herself in a weird meta way and collect fake PR awards. She doesn't seem to live life. Her life revolves around crafting a narrative about who she is. She's no one. She hasn't done anything except marry a famous guy, yet she gives flowery interviews and poses for these photo shoots like she's Mother Teresa. It's mind-boggling. Speaking of meta, now she's given interviews about her past interviews. Is she just going to keep doing this forever? It's like a nightmarish fractal of narcissism that we're all forcibly subjected to. It'd be slightly easier to forgive if she actually contributed to society, but she does absolutely nothing except dredge up petty grievances and spew phony, shallow platitudes about empowerment that sound like something a middle schooler would come up with.